Jordan Levy Wright and his dancing Rottweilers. Without further ado, you will all know them from the recent hit nano series, Alien Acquisition. With us tonight, please welcome Brother Steve and Doug Avery. Hi, Alicia. You look great. These dressing rooms are really nice. Wow, this thing's really taken off. Where did you get your original inspiration? The alien acquisition was mostly adopted from the book, The Fall of the Mia System. I picked it up thinking it was about government IT infrastructure. I didn't read it, but I was interested in the way the planet system began to collapse after overdeveloping MIAS-4. It's the reason why MIAS had to explore other star systems as possible acquisitions for their colony. I mean, you gotta make a movie about that, right? Fascinating. It is unbelievable. What if this really happened? Could aliens from other side of the galaxy help increase our own property values? How far away is Mears 3? Does trip take long? Yes, thousands of years. But with cryogenic suspension, it only seems like a hundred. What kind of human can survive such a journey? Make no mistake, Milisha. They are not humans. That's why they had to send androids to explore our planet. The refugees would have had a very hard time enduring that trip as well. Right, of course. Robotic probes are all the rage, aren't they? <laughs> Nanosode 6, Finding Endorpha, introduces a new character with a mystical way about her. But who is she? We all want to know, right? Why do they need her so badly? Can you tell us? more about her? No. <laughs> so, Militia, I heard you were starting a new project with Miss Barrymore. How's that going? Oh, Drew and I have just been talking. Can we get back to where you going next with the series? Will we be seeing more of Endorfo? Well, Endorfo is going to... The thing is... Can you keep a secret? Yes, of course. She's been on the planet for a while. Well, Militia, this has been just amazing. Let's do it again real soon. How about you and I and Drew do lunch? You see, always a good experience.